and we also have some strange meetings sometimes. Like what? Who has strange meetings? Who? The doctor Russian group meetings. They- what strange like what? I'm not in those, so I don't know anything that goes on. So that's why this is good. I get to learn about what goes on in those meetings. So what do you mean strange? So one time we, we did a meeting about our love language and Midge's love language is gifts. Oh, what a shocker. What a shocker. So there's like this series of like 25 I questions. I love you if you give me shit. <laughs> there's like a series of like 25 questions and you had to answer them. She was like reading them out loud and then we'd pick like A, B, C, or D or whatever. And it was like... My, ah. love, my love language is words of affirmation. So you tell me, good job, apparently, <laughs> out of the options that I chose. Or, or like a pat on the back. Wait, no, that falls into the affection section. <laughs> So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give it up. No, I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you, I ain't never So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give it up. No, I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. Welcome back to the Breaking the Cycle podcast. Samsung phones are much better than fruit phones, but if you put your hand open like this, it starts recording or takes a picture for you, and it seemed to not be catching her little hand, and she must fell over the ledge, but it would have been great if it started recording right as you plummeted over the over the cliff. You that guys been, are so mean. That would have been great video. Anyway, welcome back to the Break the Cycle podcast. <laughs> A fist? Does it hurt? Did it he hurt? was about to say, ow. He's literally holding in the tears only because we're on camera. If we weren't, he would be like running around, mommy. <laughs> All right, what are we talking about today? In today's episode, we'll be covering a very important topic, family meetings, and also some ways you can become more coordinated with your family. More coordinated. Awesome. That is a... Big word. Big word. All right, let's do it. So I'm going to kickstart this thing. <gasps> who wants a starting joke? You have a joke? Yes. Oh, I thought you didn't have any jokes this week. All right, what do you got? <laughs> Allegedly. What do you got? What Allegedly. Got? Stop saying behind the scenes stuff. Okay. What did the Dalmatian say when he got his favorite pet, like a scratch, you know? A scratch? What? No, like, no. Like when the, his own like, pet him like in his favorite spot or whatever. You hit the spot. I don't know what to say. I won, didn't I? Yes. Yes, immediately. Oh, my God. And you even, I mean, I already knew the answer because you said Dalmatian, but you even, you finished asking the question by saying when he scratches his favorite spot. Oh. You literally said it with the question. Yikes. Instead of just reading the question. So Tough crowd. I don't, get a, I don't get a cheer. Tough crowd. I don't get no, like a cheer. No, you don't. What do you get when you get it right? Oh, should get a round of applause. Let's talk about these family meetings. I did an episode of my own on the Steve Eckert Show podcast about family meetings. So this is going to be a little different because it's going to be, I want to know from both of you, and it's going to be just a quick, straightforward episode here. We, we Different types of meetings we have. So we have, what are the different kinds of meetings we have? Just different types. So first off, we have our like group family meeting with all four of us. And then we also have a meeting with just us three. Then we have a meeting with just you and me. Then you have a meeting with just just you and her and then we also have a meeting with me and her with mommy and then her with me and her with midge alone separately geez i'm confused you lost me at hello to be a lot of so meetings. basically we have a, a, a meeting with all of us then i have a meeting with just both kids then i have a meeting one-on-one with kids and then the russian does the same thing and we have a meeting we call with her them, we call them meet groups group meetings and one-on-ones yes group meetings and one-on-ones yeah and so those are different types of meetings so let's go into this. What is your, uh, your, what do you personally get out of each meeting? You don't have to go over every one. So Mitch, go first. What do you personally get out of, and you don't have to talk about everyone, just a few of them. What do you personally All right. leave well, or get out of these meetings? To me, it depends on which meeting it is, but out of pretty much every meeting, I grow in some way or another. So for example, in our meetings, like our group meetings we will usually talk about preparations for this podcast or yeah so that's like one way or or 
or another. Stop tying that wire knots or interventions. What you, for Tyson? That's actually where I learned the word intervention because something happened and you mentioned that word and I actually learned that word. Intervention. So, what do you? What, or sorry, so you grow a little bit. Like how? What do you get out of it? What do you? How do you grow? Well, maybe not. Like some meetings, I do grow, but most of them. It just helps me stay on track and it helps me be more organized usually all the meetings, especially our family meetings because we cover like our victories from the previous week, our lessons and struggles, our top priorities and um, schedules for the week. So that's what do you, Tyson, what do you, what keeps do you, me organized. What do you get out of? The different meetings. You so just talk, our group meeting. Or, we call it the EFA meeting, the Eckert Freak Academy meeting. So just the group meeting, the main things that I get out of it is I know what I'm doing and I and I know what you guys are doing. So I know what I can help with and so that you guys know what I need help with. And it basically just clears the fog for the entire week. So, that, so just like clears the fog for everything. And for the Dr. Russian group, which is the group meeting with me right. and Midge with Wami. We I just learn new things. I learn how to teach other others because lately I've been teaching Wami how to do things on like spreadsheets and just things like that. And we also have some strange meetings sometimes. Like what? Who has strange meetings? Who? The, the Doctor Russian group meetings. They, What's strange? Like what? I'm not in those. So I don't know anything goes on. So that's why this is good. I get to learn about what goes on in those meetings. So what do you mean? Strange? So one time we we did a meeting about our love language and midge's love language is gifts oh what a shocker what a shocker so there's like this series of like 25 i questions. love you if you give me shit mm -hmm. <laughs> there's like a series of like 25 questions and you had to answer them she was like reading them out loud and then we'd pick like a b c or d or whatever and it was like my love my love language is words of affirmation so you tell me good job apparently <laughs> out of the options that i chose or, or like a pat on the back. Wait, no, that falls into the affection section. <laughs> there, did it work? Wait, we need a whisper so he doesn't hear. What exactly? What are we gonna congratulate him for? So, so that was one of your weird, one of your weirder <laughs> meetings. Was, you said, yeah, one of the strange. I actually read that. I've read, I've read that book before. It's a, from a book. I read the book before. Yeah, it's from a book. It's like, a, it's, like a, it's like a test at either the beginning or the end of the book. I don't really know. The five love languages of Ms. Children. doesn't need to take a test. We knew that her answer was, give me shit. I want toys. And just a quick thing. I want plushies. And just a quick thing for don't have our group meetings is we get to, we always plan our BTC episodes and I get new books to read and new daily readers to read. All right. So then, well, what, what is your favorite part about, like, that's what you get out of it. What's like your favorite part about any of those meetings and you could break each one down one 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 on one meetings our group meetings like what are your favorite things about these meetings midge oh me my favorite things about the meetings so like you said it doesn't need to be everyone, i think you might right? be behind that t there i'm not sure can't tell from here i think you're good you're good okay well, yeah just knock everyone over like dominoes you're going the wrong direction my favorite thing does does this count as a meeting? Uh, not really. Not really. Well, my favorite thing about our Prof Egghead meetings, our meetings like with all three of us, our Prof Egghead Professor Egghead. Egghead. Pro oh, we call it Prof. He is Prof. Anyway, so our group meetings with him. Uh, my favorite thing is probably. Like how we all gather in your office and it just like keep like that's also my favorite thing about most of the meetings, keeping me organized because sometimes ahem, we know I can tend to be not very organized. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement of the year. So what let's <laughs> let's go into so for me is like in our group meetings, it's us. The thing I like about it is each one is like a different dynamic, like a different energy. Like when it's just us three, it's different than when it's all four of us. When it's just me and him, it's different than when it's just me and you. So it's a whole different thing. Like when it's just us, when it's us three, like right now, it's different. And like when we're in our prof egghead meeting. Prof egghead. It, yeah, we do. We go over serious stuff and we prepare for this show, but usually we just are 
screwing around and having fun and talking shit and yeah. whatever else. So usually we have fun doing it. So we're learning and accomplishing stuff, but having fun while we're accomplishing it. So it's not just, yeah. we try not to make it boring, I guess. We try to make it fun-ish as or as fun as a meeting could be, I guess. And sometimes you like also tell stories about when you were little, like your childhood, and that's when fun you were little. Too. Or turn it into a, a lesson or something. That, Life lessons. Like if it has something to do with what you're talking about or what's going on. What are some of your favorite parts about meetings, the meetings, Tyson? So for EFA meeting, I did kind of be the same thing that you said. Just like being, because our last EFA meeting that we actually did was at the beach. So that was oh, a fun meeting. Yeah. Was just fun. like not really, just like having fun basically at our EFA meeting mainly. And for our doc, Dr. Russian meeting, Dr. Russian group meeting, Dr. I'd have to Dr. say Russian. my favorite part would be the strange meetings because those are always fun and amusing. <laughs> the strange meetings. Strange. The out of the ordinary Because then you have jokes to talk about and come and run and tell me about your meeting afterward of what you guys did. And then months later, you're still bringing it up and talking about how the still meeting went or it. what the meeting yeah. was about. Also for me, when we go, when we have our meetings, we, we usually talk about like we talk all the time. We drive in the car, we go to the gym, we talk, or sometimes we're just like today on the right home from the gym. We didn't even listen to a book. We didn't play music. We literally just sat there. Just, especially think, on the way back. I don't think one single word on the way back from the gym was spoken just because we were so dead and it was so hot. We were so beat down. It was such a hard workout and it was so hot outside. But usually we sit, so we sit and usually talk during those times. But during the meetings, we talk, but it's more organized. So we get, you kind of, we get to know each other a lot better. We get to know what each other's doing, what each other's working on, what each other actually learned, what each other thinks about stuff. And that goes for all the meetings, but not, not I guess all of them, all of them equally, even the group ones, one on ones, you don't really, we get to know each other just as, the same, but in the groups, we get to know each other just the same also. So it's just getting to know each other in, in all those meetings. And, that's probably one of the coolest things. I don't think most, do you think most people, most people have family meetings like this, especially with their kids? Well, you know? some families, they do have family meetings, but not, not like ours. So I, I'm, I'm sure some families out there, but most families probably not. Some. Yeah. Some for sure. For probably sure. the 99. Let's see the average family. I think, I or think the 1%. probably more homeschooled kids and more families that are, have, are, entrepreneur parents or whatever that work for themselves probably those have more because that's kind of mm -hmm. what works in the business why wouldn't it work at home so we have meetings in the business why wouldn't we have meetings at home we have all hands team meetings in business why wouldn't we have all hands team meetings at home we have one-on-one exactly. -on -one meetings in business so we would have them at home we have disciplinary meetings in business and interventions i don't know why everyone's looking at midge but she's feeling a little uncomfortable in the hot seat but you do them at, at, at in business and it works to help people to grow or get through stuff or to help them improve. So why would you not do that in your business, in your home? And I think most people don't do that. Same thing why we have core values, our, our free code, same thing. You have core values right in a there. business, there's sort of it up there, a representation sort of it. Oh, the core values are actually over there off camera to the side. Well, that's a full, full core values. That's not the free yeah. code ones. That's the old pizza ones. Oh, that's the ones. free code. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's free code. I don't think we have I the mean. full free code listed. There's a variation of it there, but you should have core values in your family. You should have family meetings. You should have one on ones. You should have not just one on one. You know, we don't do well. We we do it anyway regularly, but it's not scheduled as much. So we have one on one meetings, but not one on one as much, which we need to also do put on the calendar. Like just hangout time or group hangout time or yeah, all, it's kind of just like random. We have family hangout time. We have one-on-one -on -one time all the time, a lot, pretty often. We're going back and forth places. We're supposed to schedule, but then you end up going to horses or chickens or some kind of random animals or something. Yeah. Actually, one thing I wanted to talk about was that for our one-on-one -on -one time, we usually spend it hanging out, but we usually have a lot of, like, unscheduled business, like, or not business, like, work meetings. But, and with Mommy, I usually, we're, our meetings are always scheduled, so I think I need to spend more one-on-one -on -one hangout time with her. And more one on one, like planned, scheduled business meeting time with you. Yeah. Well, our, our bit, we have those yeah. business meetings almost think, every day nowadays, really. I also think, like, when, when we were talking about family meetings, I thought of this. Uh, usually, people don't have weekly family meetings, they have family meetings once in a while, and it's usually because something bad happened. Like, not something bad happened to someone, but like something the like, like we need to have a family meeting, yeah, like in Young yeah. Sheldon. 
Like if everyone says family meeting, we need a family meeting. Everyone's like, oh shit, what happened? Who did what? And it's not weekly. Like some uh, usually, m- the more percent of the families who have family meetings are those. I feel like. So we do ours every Sunday. It's usually like an hour. First, we spend 30 to 60 minutes on our own preparing for the meeting and preparing our week and planning our week out. And then we spend about 30 to 60 minutes on the family meeting. And we're usually outside in the backyard. Sometimes we're here in the the kind of dining room area, but usually in the backyard or this week was at the beach. We did it on, on the sand at the beach, which and, was kind of cool. And what is it? Like, what happens when we finish preparing, but everyone isn't ready, you ask? We read. Of course. And usually we read while you finish getting prepared. (laughs) We read. Um, But I've been getting faster. All right, we've been talking for a little while now, so who wants a joke? Oh, boy. Well, I already killed the first one, so what do we got? Give me me it. Okay, hold on. No. Do you know his jokes? No, I don't no. think she does. You so hit the actually... spot on the first one. Oh, <laughs> God. That was... That's even cheesier than the joke itself. Okay. <laughs> I deserve it. No. What we got? All right. Why wasn't the girl afraid of the shark? I We've done this one before so many times. No, yeah, I've, I've done it. I know we have not. Wait, but you, she interrupted. Look, she's talking about it. How could I you possibly? No, no, no. Her. Read the question because she's like talking while... Okay. She's like talking while Why? you're. Why? No, no, you can't. Get your answer. hand off of that button. If you know the answer, if you know the answer, you can't answer. See now you're now you're losing my whole train of thought and focus. Why wasn't the girl afraid of the shark? Why was or wasn't? You're wasn't mumbling those words. Why? Wait, let me just make it clear. Staller. Why wasn't like was yes, not wasn't, wasn't the girl uh huh afraid of the shark? You said. Yes, the shark. So why wasn't the girl afraid of the shark? Yes. Got I've, it. Now I we're on the, finger on the button before the timer even starts. Now we're on the same page. Why wasn't... That's very distracting. Why wasn't the girl afraid of the shark? No more stalling tactics. Bit, bite, bite, chunk, water, jaws. <laughs> Man. Don't give me a Would warning. Would you like the answer or I a hint? I was freaking rude. Hint. What are sharks considered as? What do sharks eat? Even though they rarely eat this, eat this thing. Fish? They rarely eat fish? That's only what they survive on. Humans? Humans? Human meat? Legs? (laughs) All right, we're giving you the answer. Because it it was a man-eating shark. Get it? Why wasn't the girl afraid of the shark? Because it was a man-eating shark. How do you... uh, 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 That is improper how are you going to assume her gender that joke is a fail you're gonna get canceled gotcha every Stop. time he gets a doing from he now on a i'm bopping punch- the face I'm, I'm, with I'm that. punching him don't try to break her cool the, little what I was, like, I was just scratching yeah. my leg. wherever that came from so anyway the point of this is from. is have family meetings regular family meetings and their structure like ours starts off with before we kind of wrap up let's give them a game plan how does a family meeting go I actually sent out an email recently about this. Well, the family we, start, we start off with what? We start off with opening thoughts. If anyone has something that's not related to any of the questions on a Just like an icebreaker, just kind of conversation, something to kick it off. <laughs> yeah. And to this week, my opening thoughts, like this whole big diagram of what was going on in my exactly. brain, this whole Spider-Man web of the future Spider-Man of, web. The, of the freak fam clan plans going forward. Which was pretty cool on the beach, scratching it out like a, a beautiful mind drawing, like a big chaotic mess. And a after that, beautiful mind, but not a beautiful drawing. Then after that, we all go to we talk about gratitude and victories, right? Yeah, we say great grat- victories. I thought lessons. Oh my god, he still he's doesn't still, know. It's only been a couple of years. He still he, thinks it's tricep day. And he's run like seventy five percent of them, and he still doesn't know the flow of the well, beach. Look, he's ready. Horrible. He has to go pull it up. What after that? So we do. We okay, go over the. So gra- we everyone do- goes around the room. Gratitude. Then we go gratitude. around the room with our wins for the week, our victories for the week. And then we cover our lessons from the past week and our struggles from the past week. Because usually they go together. Usually the things you struggled are the things you learned a lesson on. So we kind of tie those in together. So it's lessons slash struggles, and then what from there? And then we do our top priorities for the upcoming week. And then we finish off with the s- schedules. Like, just like, like what days like, we're going to the gym, what days we're having meetings and stuff, if everyone's good for which days we're going to the gym, which days we're staying home, all that good stuff. Yep. Like something was off on some of my sound here. 
trying to match it to yours there. I don't know. Whatever. So All then, are different. So we go over the schedule. Then our schedule. We talk about who's going to the gym. Mine's different. That's not a snow cone. It's a microphone. So we go over who's going to the gym, what days with who, and what events we have. Then we also look forward to the next few weeks. Like, what are the things we need to keep on our radar to start thinking about and preparing about? Like, what days, what event? When are we leaving for an RV road trip like we have coming up? Or when do I have an event coming up or a black site or a squire? So we know a couple weeks in advance for shit that we need to start preparing for. So start having family meetings Swear with jar. your family and... Who I don't even, who runs a meeting? I don't ever run the meeting rarely. Or sometimes I have to take you, it over you when you ran one time, I think, like the full meeting. And then we, when there's tech did. or when there's technical difficulties, I have to take over. And yeah. you did a good job. And so Are we, you feeling loved? We usually now? alternate who's running the meeting, or he, he might run a little more than you, but it's supposed to be alternate. But yep. some days some of us come in there a little moody. Late. <laughs> so then one of us will take yeah, over. Tyson. But let the kids run the meeting. Give them the responsibility. Give them leadership to run the meeting and let them flow with it and keep things rolling. It's whoever's running the meeting's job to keep it rolling so someone doesn't take up too much time or we don't start some side conversation on things that could be talked about later so we can keep it flowing, keep it under an hour usually, and keep it moving and keep it effective. I know you're not doing that on camera. I was just stretching my jaws. All right, this is going to be a quick little... So, Episode, so, so, Pop, so, pop in episode about family episode meetings. about family meetings. So why don't you all take them home? So if you guys enjoy this episode, make sure you smash, smash that subscribe button down below. And, and while you're there, why don't you click that notifications bell and hit that like button so you never miss out on any future videos? Because as you know, the Breaking the Cycle podcast is an awesome podcast. Yeah. And We'll see you in the next one. And even if you didn't click the like button, then, I mean, even if you didn't like the episode, still click the like button. Thank you. No excuses. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never giving up. You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't never So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never giving up. You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you.